close your eyes, think thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill is a wish for your happiness and the happiness of others. It doesn't mean love, but love you have to admire or like the person. Goodwill, you don't have to like the people. There are a lot of people that are really hard to like out there. But you can wish them well, because when you're wishing them well, you mean basically, may you understand the causes for true happiness and be willing and able to act on them. Because a wish of goodwill is not a magic wand that will make people happy. It's a setting of our intention that we want people to think about the consequences of their actions and act in ways that are harmless. And that way they'll be happy. This ties in with the Buddhist teachings on karma. The teaching on goodwill doesn't circumvent karma. If it did, the Buddha could have made everybody happy and that would have been the end of the problem. But here we are living in a world where people are trying to find happiness. Some people in wise ways, other people in very unwise ways. And goodwill is basically a wish for wisdom in your search for happiness. Wisdom in other people's search for happiness. We're trying to make these thoughts the context for our practice. They say that Ajahn Mun in the morning when he would wake up, he'd spread thoughts of goodwill. After his afternoon nap, as soon as he got up, thoughts of goodwill to all beings. And the evening before he went to, went to sleep, thoughts of goodwill for all beings. That was the framework for his practice, to remind himself why he was practicing. He was looking for happiness in a responsible way, or in a way that wouldn't cause anyone any harm. This is what makes us human beings, is we can be responsible in our search for happiness. Animals look for happiness in ways they don't care about the consequences. And there are a lot of human beings who look for happiness in that way, too. So when we have goodwill and try to make it universal, we're lifting the level of our minds above the animal level. We're hoping to take responsibility for our, our happiness, be responsible in our search for happiness, and then extend that same wish to everybody. So that no matter who we meet up with in the course of the day, we'll try to behave in a skillful way around them. That way we benefit, they benefit, and our practice becomes a gift both to us and to the, the world around us.